Hey there friends, in this video we are going to go over during the run workflow with the new software we are using for hours of service and electronic logging in Samsara, as well as some changes to what you've done on Driver Anywhere in the past. In our previous video, we covered how to get logged into each app and the start of day workflow, so let's pick it up from there. We just iced up and submitted our pre-trip DVIR on Samsara. Now we can head to the client. Your driver anywhere status should already be on the way. And once the vehicle breaks five miles an hour, Samsara will change you to driving. Feel free to do this manually. A note about a status we played with a little bit in our last video was this personal conveyance. If you're picking the bus up to go to your other job or to go to the bus garage or to go home before you run, please use this personal conveyance time as it won't count against your drive time. You will have to add a remark to save it. Also, if you shut the engine off and restart it, it will change it over to driving and not save your personal conveyance status. So let's go ahead and head to the client. <clears throat> Once you arrive at the first pickup, go to Driver Anywhere and change your status to Arrived at Pickup. This will note in the system the time you arrived on site in case of any he said, she said issues. If you sit without moving for five minutes or more, Samsara will automatically change your duty status to On Duty, or you can go in and change it manually. Once you've greeted the client and helped them get loaded up, you need to change your status and driver anywhere to customer and car. And you can go ahead and head to the next location. You can rely on Samsara's automatic features to change your duty status back to driving or you can do it manually. Once you've dropped the clients at their first stop, or any stop, you can rely on Samsara's automatic features to change your duty status back to on duty, or you can do it manually at this time. Also, once you've dropped the clients at any other stops, it's a smart idea to do a quick cleanup on the passenger compartment, to check for loose, empty cans, items that will likely spill, or other trash that can be removed to keep the limo clean and the clients happy. This also has the added bonus of minimizing the mess you will have to clean up at the end of your ride. Something you can look at while you're sitting is Samsara's driver safety leaderboard. That's this trophy icon at the top. This will show your scores as well as other scores from people in your driver group. Once the client is ready for pickup, you can rely on Samsara's automatic features to change your duty status back to driving, or you can do it manually at this time. Now, let's fast forward to the final client drop-off. Once you've dropped off the client and checked for any left-behind personal belongings, <coughs> go into Driver Anywhere and change your status to Client Final Drop. Once you've done this, you can start heading back to the office. You can rely on Samsara's automatic features to change your duty status, or you can do it manually at this time. Be sure on your way back to the office to stop for fuel. For details on how we fuel up the vehicles, please check out our Fueling Up Limos video. But for now, make sure that you take a picture of the receipt or of the gas pump if you can't get a receipt. You'll need it later. When we get to our end of day flow, 
in our next video.